Come on, you pikey pikey. Go on, my son. Yes. Oh, baby. Wait. Jesus Christ. Oh, you f So we're back down on the Fenland drains again. We're in search of some more big pike. I don't know if you've seen any of my other vlogs, but I've done about seven straight sessions now and I've caught absolutely nothing. It's been a massive blank. So I'm here for 48 hours and hopefully I'm gonna give me a chance of catching a pike. I've been here for probably an hour, done a bit of lure fishing, put all the baits out. And at the moment it's looking really nice for catching a pike. But having said that, you know, it's difficult fishing. We're on the drains, the miles long. I've got five weeks to catch a big one before the rivers, the drains and everywhere shuts up. So fingers crossed, we get lucky and hopefully we catch a big one. But either way, it's gonna be some nice park fishing. I know there's big park in here and we've got a good chance of catching one. But you know, location's key, it's as simple as that. So I'm gonna be moving probably every three hours, swim to swim, probably jot it every mile, mile and a half. And then hopefully we'll be in there uh, will be in good stead for catching a big one. So I'll show you the swim, where I'm putting my baits, what I'm doing, and the approach that I'm taking for catching these pike. Well, here we are, first swim. Looking very nice. Quite an narrow part of the drain, but enough water for three rods. Got one just on the edge of the bridge. Got the float just out here. And the right hand rod just down this marginal line here. It's going to be a very warm day today. I think it's going to be about 11 degrees. Margins are looking nice. I think we've got a bit of water on top than last time. I think last time it was only a few foot, but it's about three or four foot now, which is brilliant. A bit of extra water. Been here for probably about an hour now, just over an hour. So I'm gonna stay for another two hours, then pack up, then move further up the drain, probably four or five mile. See if we can bag any fish. We've got 48 hours, so plenty of time. I mean, we've been blanking recently, but you know, seven, seven solid days fishing at the moment on here, which when you think about it, it's not really that much time when you've got miles and miles of drains to cover. But yeah, it's looking nice. So fingers crossed we get something. Spent probably half an hour's lure fishing, nothing come of it, so. See if we can bag a few. So just coming up to about half past 11. I've had probably three or four hours in this swim there. And it's really, really quiet. So I think it's time. Probably give it another 10 minutes and then it's gonna be time to pack up and then shoot further down the drain. I've got a place in mind. It's done big part before. I think we'll probably spend the rest of the afternoon there and possibly bivvy up for the night. But, you know, the plan's fluid, decisions are always open, so. Absolute glorious at the moment, it's probably 10, 10 degrees. Really, really warm day. 
so give it another 10 minutes and I think I'll wrap up get shooting further down there and see if there's any pipe knocking around So we've just come up to about three o'clock in the afternoon. It's been very quiet today, really quiet. I've pulled all the stops out, I've tried everything, and it's basically just a waiting game now for any fish to come through. You know, the witching hour was here, you know, we've got probably an hour before it starts to get dark, and that for me is my favorite time for catching a pike, and I've had most of my big, well, 90% of my big fish, you know, around just going into darkness. So fingers crossed that we get one there, but at the moment, it's just a waiting game that's all it is you know the tactics are fine the bait's fine you know i'm always chopping and changing working the swim I've done a lot of lure fishing today as well and it's just a case of there's no fish here it's as simple as that so i've got a choice i can either fish the same drain tomorrow or go down the road probably six seven mile to a different drain and do 24 hours on there because at the moment you know the drains seem laughless literally like there's nothing in them and obviously there's there is a lot of fish in them it's just location when you've got miles and miles of water to go at it's a case of waiting for them to come through or try and chase them and i think the chasing part is going to be key for catching some of these big fish but to be honest you know i did it last time all right the drains weren't fishing that well but you know sometimes it can pay to just sit and wait for them to come through but at the moment you know nothing seems to be working so you know, I'm not deflated by any means. It's I sometimes actually like it because it makes me more, you know, get me thinking cap on, think a bit more deeper, and then look for places to that might look fishy or non-fishy or you know, I'm just one of them people that when it starts to get really tough and I'm catching nothing, especially on these drains because I mean I haven't had a fish yet and I've done about seven or eight nights. So, you know, it make I start thinking deep and then normally towards the end it normally comes out and I end up catching I mean the swim I'm in now is a swim that I would never have thought about choosing to be honest you know there's no features there's absolutely nothing here that you'd think would hold a pike but having said that you just don't know you know it takes that one second that split second and then you've got the fish you're after and I've done it in the past before where I've fished places I've just turned up on a whim just chucked a dead bait out and then straight away I've had a decent you know I've had a mid 20 or upper 20 pike so tonight we have a good think I've got about six or seven drains to choose from I'm gonna pick the drain and then I'm gonna do 24 hours on there and just keep roaming about picking different swims and hopefully something will come about and we'll catch one you know just need one and then you know normally the rest follow in all my other sessions you catch just a little small pike then all of a sudden you end up catching four or five after or in my case when it was on the river i actually lost a couple a really decent pike as well but you know you can't always catch them you know you can never guarantee a firm or cold on a pike when it picks the bait up it can move away from it or it can swallow it straight away and then obviously if you get lucky and you've hooked it then you're laughing if not you know you just keep trying until you get what you're after so yep yeah, it's just sun's just starting to go down now so like i say we've probably got 45 minutes left so fingers crossed for a fish tonight and wish me luck Right, new swim. Well, I'm here for a bit of lure fishing. The last swim I've just packed up and left. Absolute dead, nothing. So I'm gonna comb a few swims down the bottom end, see if we can catch any fish. Probably have an hour here, near there and everywhere along this drain. And then 
we'll head to another drain probably around dinner time ish or just before so let's do it Well, new swim, new drain, been having a look about. I've drove about five miles down this particular drain and I'm sort of, I'm wondering whether to set up here for, for the day and the night. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a couple of hours float fishing and chuck a leisure axe. It's quite a narrow drain, this one, but it's wind. I mean, it's the wind is absolutely battering through the fields at the moment, so trying to record anything is going to be impossible with the audio so i'll have to do this in the car if i'm talking or anything but yeah new drain uh, yeah I'm, I'm probably sandwiched between two bridges half and half so i think that's a good starting point to be honest if they're going to come up or down i'll intercept them but that wind yeah i mean i've got a little bit of cover down at the bottom which would be nice because the rods will be going off every five minutes and it looks a little bit deeper on this stretch by the look of it you know lots of rushes and reeds looks really nice dead piker as you'd say so what i'll do i'll get a couple of rods out have a couple of hours and then pretty much go from there sort of test the water but there's a couple of lads piking probably a mile further up the drain so it must be doing some kind of fishing otherwise you know to be It'd be quite dead like last time. I mean, when I came here and I did five day blank, but I hardly saw any anglers at all, to be honest. So, right, I'll get the rods out, see if we can get some fish. Right, so you'll have to excuse the audio, but this is the swim. Nice, decent bit of water. Got the old float there, and I've got leisure just down here. Got a nice bucket full of sardine for, for the session, so we shouldn't run out of bait. Unless we get loads of jacks and they wipe us out. But for the moment, it's looking nice. Different drain. Give it a bash. Ooh. It's windy. Thank you. 
Oh, you Oh, you f oh. So we've got another fish. I probably had three, maybe four, pick the bait up and take it. So it's obviously the smaller fish. And they're all, you know, the lovely looking fish. You know, it's a good, good bit of sport, nice days fishing. And I'm sure at some point in the trip, it's gonna turn into catching one of the bigger ones. I'll quickly show you him going back. Nice little pike. Just need his mum to come along now. Yeah, the 10 to a penny these are. I must have lost about four of them. I've had a few, but you know, nice bit of sport. Just need the big ones to come along. But to be honest, you know, if I spend the rest of the session just catching these, I'm more than happy because at some point or another, the bigger ones will come. It's literally just a matter of time. That's all it is, just time. So I'll get this one back and then get some more bait out, see if we can catch any more. Wicked. Go on, mate. I want on the float. Yes. Oh, baby. We've got one. Wait. Jesus Christ. A monster, but we have a fish. Come on, get in that net. Ooh, shit, daddy. Stunning views on these fens, they really are. Just need to bag a real big gill tonight. Fingers crossed. And hopefully we don't get plagued by the smaller ones. That would be a nightmare. All right, I'll see you in the morning. So we've just come up to morning time. It's about half eight. I've been up for probably about an hour. I put a third rod out and I said I wasn't going to do it, but Looking at the length of the drain, I've got quite a bit of space, so I thought, sod it, I'll chuck a float out in the middle, because I had one on a float yesterday. Last night was really quiet, you know, pike fishing at night. It's not really that prolific, to be honest. Any any place, you know, river, lake, or drain I've fished in the past. So it was a good night's sleep, and there's no debris or weed coming through, which was even better, but the wind has been howling, so that was the only downside about last night. And I think today might be another windy day as well. They forecast a little bit of rain later, you know, that's not really good conditions for park fishing, but at the moment it's nice and overcast. It's cooled down slightly. It's probably about three degrees today. Yesterday was about, must have been at least five or six degrees, if not warmer. It felt a lot warmer actually with the sun that we had, but yeah, and we've got a bit of a southwesterly wind coming in. So fingers crossed for a big fish. We've got till four o'clock and then I'll be wrapping up and getting shooting and then obviously moving on to the next place or, you know, picking a choice. So hopefully today we can not only bag a few, but you know, try and get one of the bigger ones coming in. You know, you can't you can't choose a fish, especially on these drains, but you know, with a bit of luck, you know, hopefully a big one will come along and then we can catch one. So I'm gonna get the kettle on, make a brew, keep an eye out, I might have a go at lure fishing later for an hour or so and sort of increase his chances. 
or maybe even move swims. I'll just play it by ear. So let's try and catch some fish. So we've just come up to the last hour of the session. It's been very quiet today. I've had probably two pike pick the bait up. You know, I'm talking really small pike. You know, tried to get away with it. Rod's gone off, I've wind in, and then it, you can just see the little teeth mark where they've got the bait. So, gonna have probably half an hour's lure fishing, and hopefully try and entice any pike in the area, if there is any. And hopefully if there's any biggins knocking about we can sort of get them going but other than that i think it's just going to be you know what we've caught i've had probably i don't know i've had about eight nine fish only small you know yesterday i cast the float out within five minutes catching a fish then the, the leisure rods there was a lot of pike in this area and last night i had a couple of small pike but unfortunately the bigger ones haven't turned up so after speaking to a lot of people, a lot of anglers, regular, you know, quite consistent anglers, I think it's safe to say that the time I've got left, you know, the probably five weeks, just under five weeks, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch a big part from these drains. You know, I've added all the years up together of the guys that have been on here, and the biggest they've had is 28 pound. And you know, you've got five anglers, all doing 15 to 20 years fishing solid on these drains, you know, local lads. And I've got, you know, just under five weeks and I can't see me catching one, not on the drains anyway. So I need to keep my options open and start traveling to different places now. There's a few gravel pits that I've got in mind, a few lakes, you know, the river. I can't see me fishing the river. I think it's gonna be a gravel pit to be honest. You know, you're quite limited for, for targeting big pike. I mean, you could spend, you know year after year on on the river and trying to catch a big one i mean at the moment we're just under 20 pound and i need to be catching that big 30 pound target so there's a lake well sort of a gravel pit not too far probably an hour from mine and that's got them into 37 pound you know and there's a there's quite a few pike in there apparently so i think my next venture will be there doing a session here and there so you know it's quite a bit thin at the moment but you know at the end of the day this is fishing it's tough it's difficult it's just a shame i couldn't have bagged one of the biggins from the drains i'm really you know i knew i knew it was going to be difficult fishing i really did but i was just hoping that one of the bigger ones would come along and the tactics are right location is obviously wrong you know i know there was some fish here and i was hoping that some of the biggins would come through but they haven't so you know i made the choice and i'll stick by it so what i'm going to do finish the rest of the session off here and then my next session will be on the gravel pit. I'll go there, do a few day sessions, get a feel for the place, then possibly do a few nights, depending. I mean, you know, part fishing at night is not that productive, to be honest. I mean, I've been doing this for 30 odd years, and of all those years, I've probably had a handful of pike at night time. So it's, you know, not the most productive time to be catching them it's normally first thing in the morning last thing at night but you know things can change i could have had a big in last night you know it's just one of them things so so what i'll do i'll have half an hour's lure fishing i'm gonna be giving that bad boy a bash been using various lures yesterday i was using the creature baits and had a part straight away uh, i've tried various lures this morning with no no success obviously there's no pike here but I'm getting the odd liner here in there on the rods, so I'm guessing that there's a few fish in the area. So I'll give this one a bash and see if we can get anything. Failing that, it's going to be wait till the next session comes and try and catch some big pike. I don't think there's going to be any biggins in this session, but we've been consistent, we've had a few fish. And I think that rod just went and I'm sure it did. I think 
I'm sure that rod just went off then. I think that was one of the smaller fish trying to grab hold of the bait again. See if we can get the leer out. That was definitely a knock on the rod without a doubt. I think there's some small fish coming through now to be honest. Another one on the float. Come on you pikey pikey. Go on my son. Come to daddy. I don't know if it's a big one or not, I'm not sure. Got a good fight. Hey. Oh. Jesus Christ. Yes! Where's your daddy? My last fish of the session. It's been a tough couple of days. First drain, not producing much. Jumping on this drain and catching consistently. It's nice to catch consistently. You know, I've never had any fish out this drain. And obviously the monsters, well, it's just a case of being lucky to be honest. It's as simple as that. The tactics, the methods, everything's been bang on. Different approaches, different swims. This one felt a lot bigger than what it is. I thought it was twice the size to be honest with the scrap it gave me. So, just wanna thank everybody for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. We've got loads more videos coming. All various species, not just pike. I'm just pike mad at the moment. And once this quest is finished in the next four or five weeks, we'll be going on to other species. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.